What's up guys, welcome to the DMX show, I'm your host Shane, and today I got a pretty special ROM review for you guys, let me get it in focus. Uh, this is CM9 for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, you see just how incredibly fast it is. Oh my gosh. I just don't even know how it can have zero lag at all. Okay, this is overclocked at 1350 uh, megahertz. So 1.35 gigahertz. And it is just zooming through. Now what's so important about this latest release of CyanogenMod 9 uh, is that it now includes Theme Manager. So that's something that we've been waiting for for a long time. Some of you guys that ran CM7 or previous cyanogen mods you guys know all about theme manager and that's what's super cool uh, most of you guys by now have probably run cyanogen mod 9 on your galaxy nexus so i won't get too heavy into um, won't get too heavy into the options here of course there are several options not as many as in aokp uh, but there are some options. We'll run through them real quick. And the main thing here is the theme manager. Now this is going to be uh, imported into AOKP. And it'll be imported into Gummy, Eclipse ROM. It'll be imported into Codename Android. Just about any ROM that you guys can think of. Uh, it will have this theme manager eventually. Uh, which is pretty cool. I'm running the Black Ice theme right now. And if we go into settings, I'll show you guys just how easy it is to change themes on the fly. Of course, most of you guys that have run, like I said, CyanogenMod 7, uh, you guys already know how this works. So you go into themes, and I'll go ahead and include some of the download links for the themes that are available in the description. Uh, but if you want to go with, uh, like there's green ICS, so if I choose that and apply, it's going to apply that on the fly well that one it said it could not be applied hmm weird it applied for me earlier but this is the uh, stock theme we'll try to go back to dark ice and we'll apply anyway and just like that everything is themed now the green theme it was working for me I guess I have to re-download that one uh, so I'm not sure what's going on there uh, but anyhow it was working great earlier, but you see just how incorporated it is. All your app icons are all themed out. Your navigation bar is all themed out there. If we bring up our keyboard, uh, well, here's here's our uh, contacts. It's all themed out there. Uh, let's see, if we bring up our keyboard, it's going to be themed as well. There's the keyboard, and it's themed. Browser is themed. Uh, as you guys can see up top here, it is themed there, which is pretty cool. All the framework is themed. Uh, you can go and throw a no, a no wallpaper there to give it even more of that themed effect. So that's cool. You can just add themes on the fly. Now I guess we'll go into some more of the CyanogenMod 9 settings here. Uh, just so you guys, if you've never seen CyanogenMod 9 on the Galaxy Nexus, you have your uh, Trebuchet launcher, and there's a few settings here that you can that you can set. Uh, some of the highlights here are the transition effect. There's several to choose from. And then another one that I like is you can choose to resize any widget. So if I want to make like my clock widget smaller, I just press and hold. And then I can make that like as big as I want. And same thing with my YouTube. I can change that to any size as well. Even make it like app sized. And if we go back into settings, of course you have the themes. And then you have system, and you can change your notification drawer. And there's a few things that you can do there for like your power widgets up top. Uh, so you can change your power widgets there by going to widget buttons. Choose which ones that you like. And you can even change the order, it's pretty cool. And you can change your status bar. Uh, you can choose to show the clock or make the clock disappear and it does that on the fly. You can change your AM and PM style. Change your battery percentage. You can hide the battery altogether, or you can go with the uh, de default icon or the uh, percentage with text, and you can change your lock screen. So this is pretty cool. This is a new feature too, or it's new to me anyhow. Um, you can change to have these like this, and I'll show you what's really cool is in the settings how intuitive it is and how easy they are to set. So go to lock screen and lock screen shortcuts. Of course, you just drag to the target and then change it from there, which is really cool. Uh, so if I wanted to change the browser, I could just change it from there, and then I could save. 
And then when I go back, the change has been made. Well, you guys didn't see that. That was too fast. The change has been made. So see, there's the browser instead of YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, not much has changed here. Uh, of course, it is incredibly fast. And the theme manager, man, that is the... Uh, the biggest change that has been made on this ROM is the theme manager, and that, like I said, that will be available in AOKP. It already is available in AOKP. It will be available in Gummy and several other ROMs. Uh, so be looking for theme manager on your favorite ROM in the near future. Guys, thanks for watching the DMX show. Uh, you can follow me at droidmonorex.com for the latest news, ROMs, mods, and hacks on your Android device. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmonorex. And be sure to subscribe to this channel just by clicking the subscribe button. I know that's an awful nasty bandage where I busted my knuckle uh, working yesterday, actually. And it's really disgusting because I've got like three layers of skin missing there. I know you didn't want to hear that. That's really awful. Anyhow, just click that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And comment below. Guys, be sure to comment. Uh, tell me what you think about the new theme manager. Is this something that you've really been waiting on for quite a while, like me? Uh, of course, I went directly to Cyanogen Mod as soon as I figured out that uh, the theme manager was available. So anyways, guys, that's Cyanogen Mod 9. I guess I could, I guess I could send you guys out with the... We'll reboot the phone, and you can see the signage of mod 9. Let's see here. We'll go with the the boot animation on signage of mod 9, and that will be your outro. Somebody suggested that I start out with the, the boot animation. I don't know. That gives you nothing to look forward to, though. And there is your signage of mod 9 boot animation. Even prettier than CM7's boot animation, in my opinion. So that's it, guys. I really appreciate your, your watching. Be sure you do click that like button. It helps me out a lot. It takes you like a second. And you just don't even know how much it helps me. Uh, so I appreciate that. I appreciate your subscription. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.